Thank you for calling Drug Enforcement Administration. My name is Colin Smith. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I got a message about um something about drugs. Um, when did you receive the message? Uh, about thirty minutes ago. So, sir, can I have your first and last name so that I can pull up your files? Uh, yeah, it's SpongeBob SquarePants. Sorry. SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, can you please spell it for me? S P O N G E B O B is the first name. Sorry? S E O N G E D? No. S P O N G E B O B. Square pants. S Q U a R E P A N T S. S Q U E R, right? Yeah. And third step. Uh, pants. P A N T S. Square. It was SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, you have to. Okay. Yes, you have to. The reason of this call is to notify you about the intimation to suspend your social security, as we have found some fraudulent and criminal activities being carried out under your social security number, which seems totally illegal. Your social security number is involved in criminal activities like money laundering, drug trafficking, theft of identity. So, in order to verify your identity, can you verify me the last four digits of your social security number so that we can disclose each and every information regarding this suspension? Uh, yeah, it's 0420. Uh, you say 04260, right? 0420, yes. Okay, so do you want me to give you more information right now or shall we proceed further with the legal procedure and suspend your social security number? Uh, I need some more information because I'm not sure what's okay. going on. Before we proceed further, let me inform you that this is a federal recorded line. Anything you say can be used in your favor or against in the court of law. This call is on five-way conference with U.S. Treasury Department, Financial Crime Enforcement Network, Department of Justice, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Federal Trade Commission, U.S. Marshal Service. So be honest as much as possible. And please do not interrupt me over this recorded line till I complete my part. You will get a fair chance to speak once I'm done with my part. Are you clear? Yeah. Okay. According to the investigation report, it says that there are three reasons for this call. Firstly, there, uh, there are multiple addresses listed under your name. Secondly, there are four counts of drug possession and abuse listed under your social. Thirdly, money laundering under Section Penal Code 31C. The investigation began under your name and your social security number when we recovered an abandoned car in the southern border of Texas. The car make and the model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with a license plate number TX982071. This car was lying idle on the street and the local reported about the car to be suspicious. After which the local sheriff investigated the car. They found blood and drug traces in the car. Further, further to the investigation, they found this car was rented under your name and your social security number, along with two address, that is 1345 East 16 Avenue, Houston, Texas 77009. And the second address, that is 7602 Monterey Drive, El Paso, Texas 79915. So do you know these two address? No. Uh, okay. The second address in El Paso, Texas that I'm talking about is already a suspicious address, which is rated by the State Rangers Division in, in the U.S. Marshals. And they found a containment of 22 pounds of cocaine, which is categorized in synthetic drug section. As well, they found some paper and documentations of financial institutions like Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank, and found five 
business account under your name and your social security number. The question arises when we were investigating these bank statements. With the respective financial institutions, we have found more than 500 thousands of dollars of money has been worked from this account locally and internationally. This look completely suspicious because these transactions were made to narco-profiting countries like Mexico and Colombia. The first recipient in Colombia was in the name of Julian Ramirez and the second recipient in, Colum in Mexico was in the name of John Rubio Gonzalez. So do you know any of these two persons or have you ever heard his name before? No. Okay. All right. Uh, now, before I transfer this call to U.S. Treasury Department for further investigation, I would like to verify and differentiate your true information by asking you a few questions. I want you to be completely honest so that we can help you in a better way. All right? All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Square pants. How many vehicle? How many vehicle you own under your possession? Uh, I don't own any vehicle. I don't even have my driver's license. I, I failed my driver's uh, test. So I don't know how many times. You don't. You don't know much about this Toyota Corolla? No, I can't drive. I don't have my driver's license. I've I failed my driver's test like thirty six times. I'm about to go for my thirty uh, seventh okay. time. Okay, sir. Have you ever been in Texas? Uh, no, I haven't even been out the side of Bikini Bottom. Okay, sir. Um, how many financial institutes you are banking with? Um, I deal with the bank of Bikini Bottom. Sorry, one the, bank, right? Yeah, one bank, and that's the bank of Bikini Bottom. Uh. Sorry, can you please spell it for me? The bank name? Um, the bank name is spelled B I K I N I. D I N I, right? B is in Bravo, I is in India, K is in Kilo, I is in India, N is in Nagaland, I is in uh, Indiana. That's bikini. Bottom is spelled B is in Bravo. O is in Oscar. T is in Tiger. T is in Tiger. O is in Oscar. And M is in Mary. Okay. Uh, um, in, in this bank of bikini bottom, uh, you hold a checking or saving account? Uh, checking. Uh, can you please confirm the approximate balance in this checking account? Just the approximate balance. I have um, maybe 800 bucks in there right now. $800, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, do, you, do you have any credit card? Under your position? Uh, no. No credit card, right? Right. Uh, sir, can you please confirm your current zip code? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's about, uh, let's see, um, shoot, I, I can't even remember my own zip code. That's how terrible I am, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, it's 00612. Okay. Uh, sir, can you please re verify me your last social security number? Last digit of your social security number? Yeah, uh, 0420. Okay. Thank you for your exact and true information. Mm -hmm. Now I will transfer to your call to the senior official with the U.S. Treasury Department who is authorized person in regard with to this legal case, okay? Hold the line for a moment, okay? Okay. Stay on the line, okay?
Thank you very much for being on Holy Call. Has been transferred to me. You are speaking with George Jared with a bad charity, 20015. Hello? Yeah. All right. So your call has been transferred to me. Uh, you are speaking with George. Yeah. So I believe you have understanding and everything regarding this phone call, right? Yes. Okay. So do you want me to go ahead and explain it to you once more, or it's good that we we it, can it, proceed this call further? It, expl it explain it more because um, I deal with short-term memory because I'm a sponge. You have a short-term memory. Yeah. Short-term memory. Yeah. All right, so the thing is, as per the investigation report, uh, there are multiple accounts of an album tuning, and these bank accounts were used for money laundering cases, drug trafficking cases, and IRS tax scam. Okay, so uh, actually, we found a multiple bank accounts like Bank of America, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, City Bank, TD Bank, and US Bank, and also are you the owner of all those banks. Uh, no, I only deal with the bank of Bikini Bottom. Bikini Bottom, alright. Yeah. And so, apart from that, do you own any credit card into your name? No. Okay. And so, uh, since there is a money laundering case and a drug trafficking case going on into your name, I just want to verify some of the basic information, and I want it to be true and honest, because this is the only recording which can a brief you know then inside the courthouse, okay? Okay. All right, so first of all, <clears throat> do you have any criminal records in your bus? Uh, no. All right, and do you take any type of drugs? Uh, no. All right, and have you ever lost your wallet or have you ever disclosed your personal information to anyone else? <laughs> um, no. I lost my name tag uh, and you, when I work at when I uh, was working at the Krusty Krab. Uh, and what about do you do you fill up an application online looking for a job or applying for a loan? Anything uh, stuff uh, like that? No, I'm currently still working at the Krusty Krab. Okay. Uh, and so, is that a full time job or a part time job? Uh, full time. All right, and whom do you live with? Do you live with your friends or families, or do you live by yourself? I live with uh, myself and my pet snail, Gary. I'm sorry? I have a pet snail named Gary. Other than that, I live on my own. Okay. All right, so as for now, uh, we don't know who is the criminal who is committing this fraud against your name or against the government. So we're not directly blaming you that you are the one doing all these criminal activities, okay? Uh -huh. And so uh, as for now, we don't know, since we don't know who is the culprit, so I don't want you to disclose this information to anyone else, because if you try to disclose this information to anyone else, like your friends, neighbors, or near one or dear one, it can, uh, the criminal can get alerted and they may make changes before we get the culprit, right? Okay. So we don't want this criminal to run away because, you know, committing a fraud in the United States is totally against the law. It's not tolerable, right? Yeah. All right, so in order to resolve this case, I'll be providing you two options, and you can choose either the options and resolve this case, okay? okay. I'll give you the options, I'll, give, uh, I'll explain it to you what will happen, all right? So the first thing is that no, option number one is resolve inside the courthouse. And option number two is resolve outside the courthouse. Okay, the first one is inside the courthouse, and the second one is outside the courthouse. All right. Okay. So what have if you choose option number one instead? Once you have an intention to resolve this case inside the courthouse, that means we'll just go right away and suspend your social number, and you will be taken to the custody, and you have to hire a criminal attorney for yourself, and you have to defend this case inside the courthouse in order to prove yourself innocent. And if, in, if you can do that, you are free to go. But if in case, if you are not able to prove yourself innocent, that means you will be behind bars for 15 years since there is a drug trafficking case and a money laundering case going on, right? Okay. That's the first option. And the second option is that you can fix this matter by cooperating with the U.S. Treasury Department, that is me, and resolve this case without facing any legal charges. 
And uh, if you have any intention to stop this case, well, I will help you to cancel up your arrest warrant as well as I will help you to take care of everything and get your name out of this criminal list. Okay. So what's your intention? Oh, I want to take care of this. Oh. All right, so if you... <clears throat> If you have an intention to resolve this case outside the courthouse, that means you have to follow three rules strictly, okay? Mm -hmm. The first one is that you are not supposed to disclose even a single information about this ongoing investigation because if you try to disclose, the criminal will run away and as well as your case is not public yet, so you are not supposed to disclose even a single information to anyone else, number one. And uh, number two, you are not supposed to put me on hold or on mute because we have to record each and every conversation that we have on this recorded line, okay? Yeah. And uh, number three, you are not supposed to disclose even a single information as well as you are not supposed to put me on hold or on mute. And the last one is you are not supposed to disconnect call until and unless you get a confirmation from my side that your case has been resolved. All right. All right. So that's the thing. If you can follow the three rules uh, strictly, I will be most happy to help you to get you out of the situation as well as cancel up everything is uh, uh, going on, uh, every criminal activity which is going on until your name. So, are you willing to cooperate with me and follow the three rules strictly? All right. So, uh, in order to Proceed this call further. First of all, what we have to uh, do is that we have to go ahead and block your social number for two reasons, all right? The first one is for the investigation purpose, and the second one is for your safety, because safety is our first priority, all right? For that two reasons, we are going to block your social number, and once we block your social number, what will happen is that whatever the criminal activity is going on in the social number, it will be freeze and frozen and the criminal won't be able to access to that. And if they try to make any transaction using your personal information or try to make any changes using your personal information, in that case, we can easily trace them down and catch the culprit who is committing this fraud against your own name as well as against the government, all right? Okay. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that if I go ahead and block your social number, whatever you have a link with your social, it will be freeze and frozen, and it will be taken back by the government because the government would think that it's a black money since there is a money laundering case and a drug trafficking case going on. So, in order to avoid any loss from your side, the government has given an opportunity to safeguard your funds to the government safeguard wallet, which is like a 401k plan. And this 401, uh, I believe. You know what is 401k plan, right? Um, I have no idea. Uh, Mr. Krabs, don't give us any uh, 401k plans. That's the first All right, so this uh, 401k plan is the future investment uh, plan, okay? It's a future investment account, and no one will be able to assist today. And so this, uh, that, what is, uh, that is for the future investment, and this for, uh, government safeguard wallet is same like for 1K plan, but the difference is it's used for the temporary process, like uh, it's used for the uh, emergency process, right? Emergency purpose. So what you have to do is that you, uh, as I, I know that uh, you have $800 in your checking account, right? So, uh, in order to avoid losing an, uh, anything from your side, you can secure that fund to the common safeguard wallet. And once we secure all your funds, okay, I will go ahead and stop your social number as well as suspend your social number. And by tomorrow, I'll fix an appointment for you that two or three officers will be coming up at your place and they will give you a new social security number because you are not safe longer safe to use your old social security number because if you continue using your old social security number this type of criminal activities can happen in your future again right okay that's the uh, first thing so we will be providing you a new social security number number one and uh second thing is that they will give you in 
a new uh, like a uh, NOC certificate that is non-objection certificate and this NOC certificate is issued to the citizen who are facing this type of uh, problem and after the investigation once we came to know that you, he or she is innocent then we provide them the NOC certificate from the federal courthouse okay okay that's the second thing and the third thing uh, they will be providing you in a form of a check or in a form of a debit card where you have secure your funds to the government safe card wallet all right so it depends on you either you want to receive with a check or it uh it depends on you either you want to receive with the debit card okay and that uh, us treasury debit card you can use it everywhere and uh, once you once you get a new social security number you have to open up a new social number uh new bank account for yourself because these banks accounts will be under investigation for a period of time okay okay all right so so far do you have any questions no i don't <laughs> so, what do i need to do to um all right so first of all you say your name of the bank is uh, the Bank of Bikini Bottom. Bank of Bikini Bottom? Uh-huh. Wait, just give me a moment. I don't see any bikini uh bang off bikini bottom. Uh that's the one I bank with. Where are you at? Um in bikini bottom right now. I'm sorry? I'm in bikini bottom right now. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. What a fucking idiot.